Have you heard about almost zero investing and a large amount of returns? No, I am not talking about stock market or even about making a lot of money. I am talking about only the gate examination here. And in this video, I will talk everything. I will open up everything about the wild card of gate examination. That is the gate XE paper. Engineering science. Yes, you need almost one fourth of the effort which you are supposed to put for any other paper like mechanical engineering, civil engineering, computer science, electrical engineering. But that does not mean that the returns are also one fourth. Yes, if you are very much obsessed with the PSUs, then I will suggest you not to go further in this video. But if you want to join any good IIT, even IIC Bangalore, then this wildcard is only for you. So if you want to know that how to use this wildcard properly and how did AIR 94 get XE only by one attempt in his fourth year. So how did he do that? and how you can use this wildcard effectively. If you want to know these things, stay tuned. So this video is divided into three parts. Firstly, I will give you a complete overview of the XE paper. How is the paper? How is the marks distributions? And what are the subjects? Then I will talk about the strategies. Now, having said that, this is very amazing that even if you are starting from zero, you can get a decent rank. Uh, by a decent rank, I mean a rank at, at least under 300. You can get that very easily. Honestly, I'm talking with a great confidence. If Even if you are starting right now, only 2.5 months are remaining before the gate 2025 examination. So I will cover up the strategies for someone who has no preparation at all at this point. Who has a good uh, preparation for them also I will talk something that will be very beneficial and finally I will talk about the sources so how is the gate exit paper so this paper is very unique because other than any other paper in which you will be having at least 89 subjects so if you are from mechanical engineering, we have 12 to 13 subjects. But in this paper, you will have to prepare for only four subjects, aptitude and engineering mathematics. Other than that, you can choose two subjects. So these are the lists. So you have to choose only two subjects among all these subjects. So if you are from mechanical engineering, you can choose either of the material science, fluid mechanics, now, fluid mechanics means the fluid machinery part is included. Thermodynamics, applied thermodynamics is included. Material science, fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, and solid mechanics. Okay, and solid mechanics means vibration is also included. So, you have to prepare for only two subjects. So, this is the beauty of this examination. Now, each subject, each course subject will comprise of 35 marks. So, 35 plus 35, that will be 70. And remaining 30 marks will be divided into two parts equally among engineering mathematics and the aptitude part. So this was all about the get exhibit. So now let me start the strategy. Firstly, I will talk about someone who is in the deadly zone. So you have not started anything. But I understand that you have the basic concept. So firstly, you should know that engineering maths in this paper is the hardest among all the papers. So I will suggest you don't go for engineering maths at all. You will leave those 15 marks that does not hamper anything. Be okay, because so there is a saying that if you enter a casino, the one who can leave the casino earliest, he wins. So likewise, if you can leave the engineering maths, understanding that this is not my cup of tea, then you will save at least 5 to 10 marks. Otherwise, if you attempt those like, okay, then it can be the thing that you are losing 5 to 10 marks just because of the negative mark. So, if you have zero preparation, don't go for engineering maths. Okay, now you have to only prepare for three subjects. So, let me first talk about the easiest one, that is the aptitude part. So, aptitude is a skill that we need to grow. So, I will suggest first 
uh, you can go to this playlist. I have also talked about how to prepare for the aptitude. In in that also, I have talked about this playlist. So this playlist covered all the things, covers all the things which are relevant for the gate examination. So firstly, you go through this playlist. Okay, this playlist should not take you more than 15 days here because I mean, really, I hope that you are that much sincere and you understand that you have 2.5 months and your preparation level is zero. So, my friend, you have to dedicate that much amount of time. Okay? You can't afford that. Okay, my life is a little bit more. So, 2.5 months ke liye thoda to yaar ruk ja. So, for this 2.5 months, you have to complete this playlist within 15 days. And it can be the scenario that Many of the topics from this playlist are very easy for you. So, you don't need to go through those topics again and again. So, if you are done with that, then my suggestion is solve 20 questions per day. It should not take you more than 40 to 50 minutes or max to max one hour. I mean, I will suggest you not to take more than one hour. So, have a phone not a phone, I mean most preferably because phone is the greatest distraction. So, I will suggest you to have a clock, alarm clock and set a one hour time bound. And you will sit with a set of 20 questions, you have to solve those. If you are not able to solve those 20 questions in one hour, then you have to work on that, you have to practice more. Okay, so 20 questions and one hour, you have to give it. Okay. So, you have to do that uh, before the gate examination for every day. And if, and if it is not taking you one hour, then it is very good. Okay. So, this is the part of the aptitude that you have to do. Now, let me talk about the two subjects. Now, if you are from mechanical engineering, you have to choose from those four subjects. Right. And I will suggest you that first, if you have really no idea. I mean, this is very unlikely that you are a mechanical engineer. And you don't have any idea that uh, what is a fluid mechanics, what is solid mechanics, what is strength of materials, what is material science. You should have an idea. But still, I am supposing that you are someone who has totally wasted his four years of engineering. Okay. And if you have not any idea of what these subjects are, then I will suggest you to start studying any two subjects because you don't have any other option. Okay, other than that, uh, if you have any idea, go through the PIQs. If you find that, okay, fluid mechanics is something that I think I can solve. So then, then choose that. Or, or otherwise, don't waste your time for, I mean, for choosing the subjects. Just choose any two subjects. Okay, and go with that. And I think that if you choose two subjects, then two months is more than enough to complete the subject with the PIQs. So again, I am just... Uh, reminding you that you need to dedicate that much amount of time. This is not the time to say that I need to live my life. I want to live my life. I want to go for that cinema, that night out, that party. If you still think that, then you should put off this video. Okay. Or otherwise, if you are ready to dedicate that much, because I am already telling you that this is the wild card. You need to put just one fourth of your effort. So you need to put that. Okay, and because the time is less, you have to put more time per day. So, I have already talked about the things and if you are uh, searching for the sources, wait for the part 3 of this current video. Okay, so now I will talk about someone who has more than 4 months. So, more than 4 months is fairly enough to secure a rank of under 100. Okay, so if you have more than 4 months with zero preparation level, then I will suggest you, firstly, choose your comfort zone. Choose those two subjects in which you are very much comfortable and you are very much confident. Now, if you have already chosen that, then my friend, you have to practice a lot. But practice a lot means what? You have to practice from PYQs. You have to practice from the test series. And having said that, please go with this one step. Please go with this one advice. So, this advice is like magic. Okay, I talk about this, this advice in all of my videos that don't only solve PIQs and test series. Okay, 
So you have to jot down your mistakes in a particular copy and you are supposed to revise that copy. Just see that copy before going to bed every day. This will ensure that the concepts that you always tend to forget in the mock test series or during solving the PIQs, uh, you will get those concepts embedded into your brain. So it is high time that you practice this thing. Okay, this is like a magic. Okay, and for the part of engineering math. Now, because you have more than four months, then I will suggest you to study the engineering maths also in very detail. Yes, four months is more than enough to study three big subjects. Okay, two core subjects and engineering maths. And for the aptitude, now because you have more amount of time, firstly, the first step will be the same as that of one who has only 2.5 months. That is, you need to ensure that you have covered all the relevant topics for gate from engineering aptitude, not engineering aptitude, it is only aptitude. And then you need to solve 10 to 20 questions because you have a lot of time. You can afford to solve only 10 questions per day, but you need to have that much discipline that I will solve 10 questions, only 10 questions. It can take you uh, 30 minutes max. So you have to do that. And lastly, if you have a large amount of time, then what you can do to stand out of the crowd? See, I cracked GET Mechanical Engineering with AIR 31 and GET XC with AIR 94. So what I did was, I was not like that I have to GET Mechanical ke liye alag se prepare karna hai aur GET XA ke liye alag se prepare karna hai. Okay, I was not like that. So I knew that the subjects which I will choose in GET XA are the subset of the GET ME syllabus. So why I will study separately? So people often make these kind of mistakes. They think that this subject strength of material, I have to prepare separately for mechanical engineering, I have to prepare separately for semester exam, I have to prepare separately for the X in no. But subject to subject here, it's ko samjo. Ha, the uh, question patterns can change. But you will find that the level of the GET XC examination and the level of the GET ME examination are almost at par. So don't discriminate between the XC paper and ME paper based on the subject. If you are getting a strength of material question from either XC, from either ME, solve that. Okay, so let's go for those things. And if you have a great amount of time and at the same time, uh, if you have a great amount of uh, preparation level, then my suggestion would be that don't jump for the separate uh, preparation. Go with your ME preparation. Or if you are from civil engineering and you have found out the subsets that will be in your XC paper, then only prepare for the civil engineer. Now, I made one mistake that I studied the engineering maths only from the ME point of view. So, my suggestion would be that other than engineering maths, study all the subjects for your ME paper or your CE paper. And only for engineering maths, you have to study that subject according to the XC paper level. Because I have already told that the engineering maths level for XC paper is this and for all other streams, it is like this. Okay, so you have to study and practice engineering mathematics in a great detail. Okay. So, honestly, if you can solve all the uh, POIQs of XC paper, the engineering mathematics question, if you can solve those by your own, that is more than enough for the engineering science paper. So, you have to, uh, you have to start studying. Don't make that mistake which I made that I was taking the engineering maths lightly because I was like, ki yaar, mechanical method itna hard nahi aata. Lekin if you want to crack XC with a good rank, so engineering maths is the rank separator here. Okay, so anyone who is good in his engineering subjects, okay, so he can score a good rank in, in, in engineering science. But anyone who is extraordinary in the mathematics skills, so he or she can score a under 10 rank in engineering science. And honestly, you can get IIC Bangalore also. Okay, if you have a good rank in engineering science. So these were the preparation strategies. Okay, 
Now, please don't ask me like, please give me a particular routine, please give me a particular timeline. If you are still asking those things, let me tell you, everything is unique to a particular individual. Like almost, uh, we will see doctor that if I and you are having a particular illness, maybe a particular bacterial infection. But still, the doctor, based on our body type, are uh, prescribing different medicines. That is the case for this also, that for any exam, toppers prepare their own preparation routine. So, if you are uh, imitating any other's routine, so it can end up taking a vast amount of time. Okay, so you need to prepare your own strategy. Now, if you are thinking that how to do that, go to this video. Finally, I will talk about the sources. So, uh, sorry for the fact that I can't talk about the sources of all the subjects because I don't have that experience. I can talk about the sources of only the subjects of mechanical engineering and maybe these are the subjects of uh, civil engineering also. So, I can talk about the sources of fluid mechanics, solid mechanics, material science and the strength of materials and the vibration and thermodynamics. So, already I have cited all the sources in these videos. So, for the sources of thermal engineering, you can go to this video. Because if I can, if I mean, I can tell the sources again in this video also, but this will make this video larger and larger without any need. So, that is why go to this video for the sources of thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics and fluid mechanics. Go to this video for the sources of strength of materials and vibration go to this video for the sources of material science okay so i think all the things are done now talking about the iic bangalore because it is a dream and this wild card of gate examination that is gate xc can fulfill this dream of yours but before entering into iic bangalore even if you have air1 in xa you have to appear for the interview and i want you not to make this kind of mistakes which I made during the interview but still I got selected in ISA Bangalore. So if you want to know my story and if you want to learn from my story and which are the tips that AIR31 gave according to his story of ISA interview then go to this video and further if you are thinking that okay he has cracked ISA Bangalore but still he has not joined ISA Bangalore. Why is that so? To know that go to this video. So I will meet you in those videos. Until that, goodbye, take care and thank you.